Now, we know the Orchard Mesa pool will remain open until 2026, but will the doors stay open after the agreement comes to an end? This is the next dilemma that faces the Save Orchard Mesa pool group, but for now, they're celebrating the temporary solution. For some, the Orchard Mesa pool isn't just a pool. It's a pillar of the community. Our kids uh, went to the pool for swimming lessons and for parties. Community is what the pool has meant to me. It's like we all know each other and we're all one big happy family. The Save Orchard Mesa Pool Group held an event at Spoons Bistro and Bakery this morning in celebration of the pool remaining open. Uh, we are celebrating the agreement that was signed by City Council and the school board to keep the pool open at least until December of 2026. But this doesn't mean the pool will stick around beyond 2026. But that's step one. So step two is uh, working on keeping it open for the foreseeable future. City Council member Randall Reitz says the main issue is finances. I think right now the city subsidizes about $20 for every user. And that's not really a sustainable business model to have to pay that much money for every person who goes there. But the group is hopeful that if the community comes together, kids and adults alike will be swimming in the pool for years to come. So we have a lot of work to do and we could use the help of others. The Save Orchard Mesa Pool Group also tells us that they're concerned about Mesa County's 29 road interchange project. They say the pool could be funded with much less money than what is allocated for 29 road. Reporting in Grand Junction, I'm Ivan Olivas.